speaking of eating, there is this camp, guys. I saw it online. It's called Bacon Camp. I thought it was, it's not fake because it's on people.com. People.com always tells the truth. Guys, bacon camp. Bacon camp. You go to camp and you learn how, essentially how to make bacon and different kind of bacon flavored things. And I could never go to this camp. I'd be like a thousand pounds. It's all bacon? It's just about bacon. A pig who thought he'd be accepted by society. Two recently reunited twin sisters. Table for one. Lust for pork. Who will eat and who will die? See it before your next breakfast. It's just like a strange, like a it's like a strange camp. Cooking you know, camp. Kind of, but it's just bacon. You Are there other things you do with the bacon? Like bacon ball or... I didn't get bacon that far. Bacon I it, it goes bacon chase yes it's sardines except it's called bacon once you find the bacon you hide with it and then once you find that person you you know how sardines goes right because like, bacon lays in a tray the same <laughs> as sardines do. it's like let's play bacon everybody it's gonna be fun at the end we get to lay down on the road when it's really hot no. douse ourselves in vegetable oil <laughs> bacon <laughs> What other kind of camps are there? I don't Climbing know. camp and photography Eddie camp. Ways, fat camp. Fat camp. But bacon camp? Date like... camp for losers. <laughs> I want to start that someday. Date camp for losers. Wait, date camp? Date camp. We're going to teach guys how to have social skills. Wait, date camp I'm for losers. I'm not me. qualified to do that. But I feel like a deer in the headlights of love. You know, I, I only need one you. I can see the Statue of Liberty from here. You know, it'd be we'd call in experts who know how to date and teach guys who don't like know how that to book. talk to how girls, to, how to talk hey, to girls. Hey, hey, how to fall, how avoid falling in love with a jerk. I had to read that book. In college. That's a good. That's by oh, Dr. John Van Epp. How to avoid book. falling in love with a jerk. He talks about toxic personalities. That's a good one to look up too. This is like our book episode. We talked about Death in the Long Grass, Bacon Camp. There's surely a book on bacon. <laughs> bacon and um, Dr. John Van Guys, Epps, Bacon Camp. Avoid. Look it up on people.com. Like, I, I'm really obs... Do you go there a lot? Is that people, people like People yes. Magazine? But I think it's funny when you see certain celebrities and they're like on the red carpet. And they always have like a certain like pose. Like Angelina Jolie. She has the one where she's like, like this. Like with she her leg out. Back. It's like... Yeah, like like this. I don't know, but it's kind of maybe not leaning back, but her leg is always out. And there's always, and then there's always like the classic one where they always do like this thing with their like, you know. That's like the this. same thing. No, I'm not, not seeing the no, difference. This with their leg out, and then like this. You have my leg is like in. You know, to some men, they would just say that that's standing. No, no, and that's standing. No, that is not the same. This and this are completely different. That's not, they, that, I, that's I not wanna the same see, at all. I want to see a celebrity just take charge and decide, for all my pictures, I will lay on my face. <laughs> I just like looking, I like looking up, seeing what celebrities are doing with their life. I have no idea why. I think it's because as a kid, me and my mom would go to the grocery store and look at People magazine this is before they had like, you know, like cell phones and like look in the magazines for like an half an hour. Just, and not buy them. Just like This look was at them. what people did before I guess social that's what I did. media scrolling. Yeah, look at magazines in the, in the grocery store. That's what I did this my is mom. the book edition. <laughs> Welcome to the Bashley Vlog, sponsored by Borders Books. Out of business. <laughs> Wait, what's the other one? What's that one? Like? Barnes and Noble. Barnes They're not out of business. They're not. They're but good. there's another one I've heard of it. It's online and they sell books and a lot of other things, I guess. I don't know. I I've never been on it. It's called like Bonsai or, or Bonsai? Brazil. Bananazon. It's not just books anymore. Bananazon. Bananazon. Can we please go to the back to the fact how you thought this was the same, and this was the same. Because it Kate, is. You that's got like, your left Kate, hand on your Kate, hip on both. But, but that's like saying this and this are the same pose. No, because <laughs> yeah. when you put your hands up like this, you th no one does this just because I'm not. What are you doing? Relaxing. <laughs> no. You're. The point is, 
See how those things address two different poses? This and this versus this. No! Like, it's like my hand is down and I'm like this. And then I'm like this. See? <sighs> Completely different. No, they're yes, not. It is. Notice the difference, disparity between our heights here. Our chairs are exactly the same, but the ground that I'm sitting on is just slowly settling down, 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 down. Oh no, no, no. So that you're ben, like ben, really- You're gonna fall, you're gonna fall. Oh. She has a problem with me being down here, but this is actually more recumbent and exciting. And no, it's everyone weird. enjoys I don't want this you to be... because I look more sage and like I know what I'm talking about. If I explain to people right now how to do something, they will believe me. Just because you're sitting like that? If I say this is how to properly poach an egg, they'll believe me because I'm leaning back and I'm tilting my head to the side. That is, this is I, the difference no, between sitting and sitting. The difference between standing and standing, same. No. Sitting and sitting, Different so poses, Benjamin. We have to move past this. Different poses. Okay. Okay. It's better. <clears throat> Now I'm sitting. You're sitting really awkward, I have to say that. This isn't awkward, my legs are crossed. It's awkward if... You know, I actually had a lot, you have, you have a lot of freckles on your face, like right here. A lot of freckles right here. You got some behind here. Do you know you have freckles underneath your eyes? Yeah. It's kind of cool. We both have freckles. You don't have freckles? Yes, I do. Where? I cover them up with makeup. Can't you tell you me? You fake here? it? No, right here. Why do you do that? Because it's a Women think guys don't like freckles. Hold on. That's beauty magazines lying. They're, yeah, lying to you. They're lying. There isn't a guy I can think, I don't know. I can't take a survey. But for me personally, freckles was never a turn off. on your ears. Never. Never. Doesn't they matter. They always cover them up in magazines. They always cover it's them up. It's stupid. I think it's dumb. Freckles are cool. You didn't I'm, know I'm, I had freckles? You didn't, you didn't know that? I didn't. You cover them up. You shouldn't cover them. But you've seen me without makeup on, so you never noticed I had freckles? No. Well, I didn't notice you had freckles underneath there. Well, underneath I don't have a lot of freckles, and neither do you. But some people do, and I don't think it's anything to be ashamed of. I always I want my best friend has freckles all over her arms, and I wish I had freckles all over my arms. Yeah. I do. Another book that people like, it's called Freckle Juice. It's about a little boy who, I don't know, something with a purple marker. Maybe I'm think I'm mixing them up. Dang it. There's like a scarlet fever, but not scarlet fever, chocolate fever. What? I'm mixing up. What are you talking Frindle about? is another book. That I'm, it, it, I'm into no man's sweet. land of five years old, and I read books, and... They were in my no head, idea and now I don't about. know what like they I were. Really don't Hi, I'm Mary O'Malley, and I just read this incredible book about lions chewing people's heads off. It's called Death in the Long Grass. My favorite part was after a lion would get done chewing someone's head off and all the blood, Mr. Catstick would blow the lion's head off. My name is Henry Filbert, and I read this book trying to learn how to talk to women. It did not seem to help me. Women still shy from um, um, it's freckle juice. I gotta go to the bathroom. My name is Charity. That's with an E. I want to make you buy the book my mother Who wrote with Uncle hey, Fred called How Bears on Forest Borders. Hey, no, no. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Bashley Vlog. I'm Ben. And I'm Ashley. This is The Bashley Vlog. Hey everybody, Jordy LaForge here from the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh man.